The Devil of Hell's Kitchen is back. Whether it's by popular demand or something else entirely, we're all happy to see Charlie Cox return to the most popular role of his career as yet another attorney at law. With the story of the series itself as it stands right now, spanning over 18 episodes, just enough runtime for us to not regret waiting for the renewal of the show after four years in absence. Along with the other Marvel Studios projects announced at this year's San Diego Comic Con, all of which will take part in Phase 5 and Phase 6 of the MCU and build the story even further, also came the popular demand of the fans, Charlie Cox's Daredevil with the series titled Daredevil Born Again. For better or worse, the hardcore fandom is at its highest in the modern day, and the extremely popular movement to restore the character who was kept alive over the years by the public interest in Revival is probably one of the biggest reasons why Daredevil will be getting his own series, outside of the fact that the character itself fits perfectly within the MCU. God's plan is like a beautiful tapestry. And the tragedy of being human is that we only get to see it from the back. The Netflix Marvel series was a mixed bag, but many Marvel fans would eagerly describe Daredevil as one of the best products ever produced by the franchise, and the messy acquisition of those series by Disney Plus resulted in the cancellation of the series after just three seasons. And in the present time, after four years under the rug, the series is coming back. And we think we'll be saying for everyone here that we're so happy that things turn out the way they did. Daredevil Born Again caused a lot of excitement and joy from a huge percentage of the MCU's fanbase, with fans' hopes of seeing the two most popular characters of the series coming to the MCU finally being realized. The upcoming Daredevil series with Charlie Cox returning for the role after his cameo in Spider-Man No Way Home as part of the MCU, which was somewhat strange seeing how at the time he was not confirmed of coming back in the role, as well as Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin who made his debut in the MCU through the finale of the Hawkeye series last year. Thus, with Marvel teasing fans with these performers so much that their legend has grown out of control should the fans expect a return to form for the character or a simple repackaging of what they used to love while the series was on the Netflix streaming platform. While we think it'll be the former, seeing how all of the previous projects from Marvel Studios turned out so far, they've all been carefully made and produced with a lot of thought about it, not wanting to stain their beloved MCU we've been living with for more than 14 years now. Ever since the first Iron Man movie back in 2008, the information given to the world regarding the series is limited for now. However, the big reveal was more than enough to make us wonder what the series will be about or for that matter, what does the title even mean? What about you? I'm good. The show will be coming in spring 2024, with no exact release date given as of yet. Which brings us to the next big thing about the series, the cast announcement. Rest assured, the two big names will be coming back. Charlie Cox, who genuinely loves the role and wants the series to continue. Thus, it's a great thing that Marvel Studios managed to bring him back in the role. The other member connected to the series will also be Vincent D'Onofrio, who will be returning as Kingpin, if it wasn't already confirmed by his appearance in the MCU at large, the one who is pulling the strings from behind the scenes throughout the Hawkeye series. The title, on the other hand, could also point the direction the series might take. Like many Marvel projects, this new series borrows the name of a famous comic book run written by Frank Miller in 1986. And sure, we should be expecting an alteration to some extent when it comes to the adaptation of the story from the comics to the live-action MCU. You're the kind of man this city needs. Because, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all know this city needs help. Needs it now. But with the premise given, we should know the groundwork on which the Marvel will try to build the series up, with the company often providing some basic outline for the plot or the characters on display. One problem Marvel Studios will be facing is the fact that this story from the comics has already been. Loosely adapted in a third season of Netflix's Daredevil, the central elements, which saw Matt Murdock become more violent and paranoid, as the Kingpin ramped up efforts to kill him, formed the backbone of the series as a whole, with the character Bullseye and the corrupt DEA agents just adding up to the mix. So to put everything in perspective when it comes to the adaptation, and what the comic book fans will expect for the series will likely be omitted, as much of what could have made it to the screen will probably not come to light, due to the story already to some extent being already adapted. The series also featured Karen Page returning to adult film to support her heroin habit, as well as a super soldier named Nuke and Murdoch losing his law license and working in a diner. The whole thing was intensely grim at the end, which depicted most of the story from the comics, so it'll be an interesting thing to see where Marvel will go next with the story, which should be interesting considering that the upcoming series, according to many rumors, it'll be a continuation of the Charlie Cox's Matt Murdoch story. You're gonna try and keep me here against my I hear what you're saying, Danny, but 
And no one loves this city more than I do, but you can't leave this room. Outside of the two big names announced for the series, a couple of writers have also been confirmed to be working on the upcoming series, including the likes of Chris Ward and Matt Corman, who write as a duo, sharing credit for most of their works in their careers. Ward and Corman will also serve as the executive producers of the show, who will be joined by Kevin Feige and Chris Gary, also credited as producers. The other worrying thing for the fans is the ton of the series. The other worrying thing for the fans is the tone of the series, something we're worried about because Netflix was able to deal with more mature subject matter than the larger MCU with the show being free from obligations of tying in with other projects and was able to exist in its own universe, something Marvel Studios does not have the luxury for. <laughs> Hence, we're more than certain that if Marvel wants to make a profit out of the series, the same reason why they killed the version of the series we know by now, we're in no doubt whatsoever that the MCU could make something as unique as Daredevil, with washing off all the blood and lightning up the tone two of the things that just stay the same as before. But for that, we'll have to wait and see for ourselves when the series drops in spring 2024, and whether Matt Murdock will be back in proper form or there's something else brewing. And last but not the least, we also want to note the fact that we'll probably be seeing Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil, make another appearance before a standalone series in the upcoming She-Hulk Disney Plus series. People love superheroes, and what makes Daredevil special is that this character has to struggle and sacrifice a lot. The latest trailer that dropped at San Diego Comic-Con, along with the clips of Jamila Jamil's Titania, closes out by teasing an appearance from none other than Matt Murdock. And while his face was never shown, it has been known for a while now that the character would be making a return to the MCU. And what would be the perfect place for him to start? At the court, of course, given his own lawyer background. The two characters have also shared a page or two in the Marvel comics, so why not continue that tradition with us seeing them each defend their clients before joining forces to take down a much more powerful foe that would require their powers combined? On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the character, where do you see him fit within the wider MCU, as well as the direction in which you'd like the upcoming series to go. Now that we have some idea of what it will try to encompass, but also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time!